I'm just still kind of in this endless loop um, of trying to figure out what's even wrong and what the plan is. Despite this excruciating injury, Regina Bateson was told it would take months to get an MRI in Ottawa. Desperate, she went to Quebec instead, paying nearly $800 at a private clinic. Politicians waving their hands and saying, don't worry, you know, everyone in Ontario is getting the care they need when they need it. That doesn't make it true. The emergency room of this major Ottawa hospital will be shut overnight Saturday and Sunday, one of three hospitals in the region limiting services this weekend. Near Edmonton, an entire obstetrics unit will be shut down for at least two weeks starting Saturday. These just the latest closures fueled by severe staff shortages. New Statistics Canada numbers show just how dire the staffing crunch is. 22,000 healthcare sector jobs were lost last month, mainly due to people quitting. And nursing vacancies earlier this year were already triple the level of five years ago. They're burnt out. They've been made to believe that there's no hope of improvement. Together, three healthcare sector unions in Ontario put forward a five point plan, imploring the provincial government to increase pay and mental health supports for their members. You need to take meaningful action now. Now. That same Stats Canada data shows 10% of nurses called in sick at least once in July, and more than 20% worked overtime. I still love nursing, but sometimes I ask myself, do I have to go? Nurse so Mercy happy. Abbey says the job is starting to feel impossible. You know, patients are crying, nurse help me, nurse help me. And in your head, you say, my goodness, somebody you are doing resuscitation for, and somebody say, help me. How can you do that? You can't. The helplessness so many healthcare workers grapple with every day. Ellen Morrow, CBC News, Toronto.